Hello and welcome. I'm Crail Funch, the author of the recent and newly available and appealing plan, A Year of Everyday Celebrations. And as part of my launch, I wanted to talk to a few of my favorite people who are out there doing fantastic things and find out how they celebrate every day. So today I have with me a very special person and I'm super inspired by her. I'm really, really excited that she's here today. Um, we have a sort of a similar path, but yet totally different. So. <laughs> So today I'm super excited to have with us Deshay Peacock and I am super excited to tell everyone that she, her new book has just gone into its second printing after selling over two or 5,000 copies in less than 20 days and she has worked with over 600 women um, as a lifestylist and coach and helping them find their sweet spot. So that is the name of her book and also her business. She has a master's degree from the School of International Training and is a certified global career development facilitator. Her next sweet spot style retreat will be in Mexico and I'll let her pronounce the name of the town so I don't mess that up. <laughs> She's been quoted in the Huffington Post, Yahoo News.com, as well as US News Money and has made several radio and TV appearances. So welcome, thank you very much for being here. Thank you, thank you so much and congratulations on your new book and your launch, that's so awesome. Thank you, thank you very much. And like I said, I know we have we have a, um, you know, a similar uh, message, but we go about it I think very, uh, not very differently, but in a different way. So I'm, I'm really excited that you're here and uh, that we're able to share this time together. So I want to um, start it right off and ask you, uh, how do you celebrate every day and find different ways? I know you have a super busy uh, schedule right now with your book tour and, and um, planning your retreats. So how do you celebrate every day? Well, I love this question because it implies that we do celebrate every day. And I think we should celebrate because life is supposed to be joyful. So even though we get caught up in our busy day-to-day -day lives, um, it's really important for me to take a step back and to take a deep breath and to just um, to really be grateful for my life. Um, so my overall life intention is to help people to get in their sweet spot, which sweet spot is self-defined beauty and success. And you know, I wanna focus on the beauty part because I think that's where we overlap. And um, creating beauty and surrounding myself with beauty is, is really how I celebrate every day. You know, I, I like to get up, I like to get dressed, even though I work from home, I like to look nice, it makes me feel better. I like to surround myself with beauty in my home. It's really important to me. I feel like your environment is conducive to who you are. It's an expression of who you are. And um, for me, it's really important that my environment express who I am and be beautiful so that I feel beautiful and I feel good and I feel energized to help other people do the same thing. So, um, yeah. and I celebrate that by being grateful because I, it took me a long time to get to this point. You know, it, it wasn't always this way. It took me a really long time to figure out what I wanted to do in life. Yeah. And doing work I love is so important to me that I want to express gratitude because I do feel blessed with it. And I do that every day. I, every day I, you know, I have my vision book and I write down things I'm grateful for and I meditate on gratitude. And um, I think you're right. I think it's so easy for us. And, and I, I know it's true for myself and I'm, I'm, I'm struggling with that, with that journey too in, in like I said, in being grateful and actually sort of appreciating where you are and how far you've come. And um, I think for a lot of uh, people, especially women, it's hard to actually um, acknowledge how far you've come and to be grateful for all of those, um, you know, all of that part of that journey. So, and uh, like you said, it took you a little while. So how, what would you, how has your path changed? And um, like, how do you know that now you're like in your own sweet spot? Well, I know because I have, I've had over 40 jobs trying to <laughs> <laughs> in my life. Yeah. And I've taken lots of courses and I've gone through lots of school and I've, you know, at one point I w was a Spanish translator, I was a social worker, I thought I was going to medical school, I was an international studies abroad person and now I'm a lifestylist and the way I know that this is right is because 
I have so much energy. I can do this day and night. I get excited. I'm pumped up. I'm lit up. I'm, I'm happy. I yeah. love it. I thought something was wrong with me. You know, when I went back to school and I was studying biochemistry and I was like, <laughs> I'm a doctor. I'm going to save the world and I'm going to speak Spanish and cut out the middleman and, you know, and I was exhausted. I was tired. I had neck pain. I had headaches and I had, I went from job to job and I had to, I quit quickly because I was in physical pain. And at one point in my life, I, I went to a doctor and I was like, something's wrong with me. Like, I don't have any energy. Maybe I'm anemic or, you know, and wow. turns wow. out that I was, I just continuously kept finding the wrong work and it was making me really sleepy and bored and tired and probably depressed actually. Yeah. So it sounds like some of your past uh, roles were not as creative as you are now. Do you think that, do you notice that as a trend or that maybe that you're able to actually express your creativity? Oh yeah. Yes, yeah. definitely. And you know, I think that I always wanted to do something creative and I would do it on the side in my own personal journal or I would start little side businesses. I, I mean, I took every kind of creative thing you can imagine, yeah. pottery, knitting and photography, painting. And you know, I try to sell it, but if I wasn't making money, then I would, I would quit and I would, then I would stop loving the work. Right. And right. I think there's a lot of fear involved when you're doing something creative because you're, you're showing who you are and that's scary. And if people yeah. don't buy it, then you think, Oh, well, I'm not good enough. And it's so easy in our society to believe that we're not going to make money doing creative work we love. And that's my mission. And I'm doing it finally. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm so grateful for because it's taken such, it's taken such a long time. And yeah. But it's possible. Now I know it's possible. Right. Now, is that something that you work with your coaching clients on? I know you do work workshops and retreats, et cetera, but you also do um, some one-on-one -on -one or virtual um, coaching, correct? Yes, I So do. is that something you work on with your clients as well? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, it seems like um, ambitious, creative, entrepreneurial women are called to work with me and I love working with them and busting through the fear, whether it's starting your new business or going online or career transition or, you know, going from one career to another career transition. Yeah. Um, that's, yeah, that's what I help women do because I've, I've done it myself. So I feel like because I've done it and because I'm still doing it, um, it's easy to do. And you know what? I, I think it's really important when, when you hire a life coach that you see that they're doing sort of like what you want to do. Yes. Because I, I see that, I know it's like life coaching is booming and there's so many people doing it, but for me, it's like, well, what have you done besides teach people how to do this? And for me, it was really important that I was able to write my first book and, you know, I have lots of books um, yeah. planned and yeah. courses and I want to create and I want to produce and I want to express myself um, and also be a life coach. You know, I want to do the two things together right. and yeah. not one or the other, but it's really important for me that there's creative expression and also meaning. And yeah. meaning is in helping people to understand um, that they can do work that's inspiring for them. And also I can do the work myself too. Right, right. So how do you find, Do you, are you still, um, I mentioned photography and knitting and pottery. So yeah. do, do you, are you still involved in some of those, um, you know, quote unquote, artistic um, endeavors or hobbies or however do you use them now? Yeah, well, you know, every day I, ha I have this vision book and um, I'll show it to you. I have it right yeah. here. So awesome. it's a vision book and um, I, this is a creative outlet for me because it's, it's, it's writing, but it's also, you know, pulling beautiful pictures and using intention and manifestation. So I have beautiful pictures of clothes and beautiful pictures of interiors also with my goals. So I feel like that's a creative outlet, but also on my blog, you know, yeah. I like, I like to write and I write on my blog and my newsletter and also creating beautiful graphics. That's, that's really fun for me. I enjoy putting that together. And the same thing with the book, you know, a lot of my photographs are in my book and I got to help with the layout and the color choice. And so, yeah, I, I love that stuff. I love that stuff. That's fantastic. So you spoke, you talked about your blog. So where, what is, um, what's the best way for people to find you? It's sweetspotstyle.com. All right. And are you, are you on social media, et cetera? So the best way they can go to your blog and, and get all the information, right? 
Yep, they can go to my blog. I have a newsletter list. I'm on Facebook under Sweet Spot Style. And um, I think Instagram, it's Deshay Peacock. Okay. The interest is Deshay Peacock too. Okay. So this year, it's happening as I'm leading this, my first international Sweet Spot Style retreat to Mexico. Nice. And it's happening in February. Awesome. Again. It's a perfect time to be there, right? It's a perfect time to be there. And I have one spot left and I'm gonna do it again because I'm sure there's gonna be a waiting list, but I'm really excited. And it's 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 about what we're talking about. It's creating a beautiful life, upgrading your life by living in this beautiful fantasy world and then taking that energy back home with you. Yeah, yeah. So you should come. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, maybe I'll have to come in the next year. I'll, I'll get on the waiting list. February's gonna be a little busy. <laughs> But yeah, no, I mean, and I love Mexico and I love all the things that you're talking about. So I can definitely see myself there in the future for sure. Yeah. And like I said, I, I'm always jealous when I see the pictures and oh, yeah. Beautiful. Well, jealousy means that you need to do it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Don't let, you know, jealousy depress you. Let it fuel you. That's what I Yes. Say. Well, thank you again for being here and everyone, make sure you go to sweetspotstyle.com and learn more about the retreat and everything Sweet Spot Style where you can purchase her book as well as get on her newsletter, follow her on social media and you'll love all the pictures that she posts um, just on a regular basis as well as from the retreat. So, and if you'd like to learn more about An Appealing Plan, the book, you can go to the website anappealingplan.com and um, there you'll find lots of links and be sure to let us know how you are celebrating every day by posting on social media, hashtag celebrate every day. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So uh, today we have with me Disha. Is that Deshae. correct? Okay. Did I say it right? Disha. 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 So you got me now. That wasn't even how I was going to say it. Okay. To practice this in my life, I need to wait a minute. Can I start over? Yeah. <laughs>